am here. Why are they hiding his face? My children are alive. Azula always lies. Azula always lies. Dude, Zuko had a messed up childhood, man. Never forget who you are. My name is Zuko. Son of Ursa and Fire Lord Ozai. Talk to him. That was that was so good. So the bar has been set after last episode. That's going to be a hard one to top right here. So I imagine we're going straight back to our main group. So just after Toph has been introduced, we just had an entire episode of Zuko and his family. So I imagine we're just going to go right back to our main group and get moving with all this learning earthbending stuff. But that last episode is just one of those episodes that just changes so much about the way you view the show, Zuko and the Fire Nation and their family especially. Even Iroh, you know, and something I didn't touch on last episode was I was kind of thinking that maybe this whole experience that Zuko was having is just going to lead him back to Iroh and it's going to be something of a, a short hiatus for Zuko instead of perhaps a long one but we'll see. Like and subscribe, check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested and with all that being said, enjoy the video. I thought a lot about what you said. Ooh. You did? We no longer have anything to gain by traveling together. They're reinforcing this though. I need to find my own way. Maybe it will be a long hiatus. The chase. Okay. Maybe Azula chasing? That would make sense. Hey, you guys picked a great campsite. The grass is so <laughs> Is she on Appa? That's not grass. Oh. Appa's shedding. Oh, poor Appa. Ah, the beauty of spring. Ugh. No, not it. Oh my god. It makes a great wig. He looked like Marge Simpson. <laughs> I'm just glad we finally have another girl. I was thinking about this. Probably really good for Katara. Excuse me, does anyone have a razor? Because I got <laughs> She's just like the boys. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now that's nice. That's nice. So tough. Usually when setting uh -oh. up, we try to divide up the work. Katara, I'm fine. I can carry my own weight. I don't need a fire. I've already collected my own food. And look. Oh. My tent's like okay, that. I see what she's doing. Independent. But we still need to finish. I don't understand. What's the problem? Yeah, okay. I see what's going on. Never mind. Okay, this is what we're doing. But Toph has never um, had friends or like been in a situation like this, so she doesn't know how to act, right? So this will be a another little learning curve for them, I think. I think we're all just a little tired and getting on each other's nerves. Mm. Yeah, you do seem pretty tired. <laughs> she wants an apology too. I meant all of us. Yep. Well, good night. Oh, she's trying though, Katara. She's trying. <laughs> she can feel something. There's something coming toward us. Is it Azula? What is that? Oh, it's a- oh, okay. This is what we're doing. Well, that's a sick shot. Oh, it's like a full moon, but the cloud's like a quarter moon. See you guys in the morning. Actually, can you help us unload? Really? You need me to help unload the fire <sighs> You're a part of our team now, and look, I didn't ask you to help unload my stuff. Yeah, they, they both need to understand each other here, I think. Ever since you joined us, you've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. That's a lot. I gave up everything I had so that I could teach Aang Earthbank. She's not wrong. Don't I love earthbending. You both need to calm down. Both? I'm completely calm! That's insane. The stars sure are beautiful tonight. Too bad you can't see them, Toph. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That thing is back. Seriously, what is that thing? And how does it keep finding us? How does it keep finding them? That's the question. I'm finding the softest pile of dirt. And <laughs> the way he crawls, man. We're so petty. We're kids. We're kids. Remember, we're kids. Oh, don't tell me. That's impossible. There's no way they could have tracked us. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's the squad. <laughs> Look at him. With like what? Salamanders or something? We, can take we got three benders now. Oh, he's catching L's from Toph already. <laughs> what? Look at him. Three on three plus Sokka. <laughs> Dude, Toph is OP. The Arpa's probably so tired, man. Not a word from Azula and her squad. Arpa's falling asleep. Those girls followed us all the way from Amashu. No, the 
the sun is rising. We've been up all night with no sleep. Every time we land, those girls are there. So we'll just have to keep flying. Hmm. Is it okay? Oh, he's fu he the chase, the chase of the chase. No, 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 no. Up is falling. Up is falling. Jesus Christ, falling asleep at the wheel, talk about. Yeah, up up it needs a big sleep. I was Talk didn't have such issues. What? I want to hear what Katara has to say. You think I have issues? I'm just saying. Maybe if you helped out earlier, we could have set up our camp faster and gotten some sleep. You're blaming me for this? No, no. Oh, come on. No, I'm blaming her. I carry my own weight. Besides, not Shetty. Don't bring Harper into this. They're following. I was trying to think. This was going to tie back in somehow. Oh, God. Facts. Oh, uh oh. That, that's, that's tough. I don't, I don't blame her after that. Bro, I'm sad. One episode with Toph and we're doing this. Just trying to get used to each other. And I was so mean to her. Mm, yeah, mm. you two were pretty much jerks. Thanks, Sokka. No problem. Sokka's just bystander in all of this. What are we gonna do about the tank full of dangerous ladies chasing us? Fake trail. Fake trail. Yep. Are they gonna wash all the fur off him? Oh, not bold Appa. Are we gonna get bold Appa? Appa's fur was leaving the trail right to us. Now that he's clean, no more okay, trail. okay, we're good. I'm gonna use Oppa's fur to make a fake trail. Yeah, fake trail, fake trail. Oh, poor Toph, man. That's rough. Oh, she wanted with some friends and now she's just left them. Is this Zuko? That really hurt my tail, it's Iroh! What an unlikely encounter. The trail goes this way. She's gonna see the tree that, yeah, that upper broke. Avatar is trying yeah, to she too smart. You two head in that direction she is very strategical. We, we kind of learned that about her last episode. It's like a ghost town, man. Is this where we're gonna fight? My boy is so tired, though. He said, I'm gonna wait. Someone's coming. What is it, Momo? Oh, no! Katara! Now, here we go, here we go. We're going down! But Azula's not with them, though. Oh, no. Come on, Appa. Okay, he did it. He did it. Good boy. Oh, 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 I've seen, I've seen the lizards that do this, man. Is she gonna, is she gonna take her bending away again? Okay, Sokka! Oh. <laughs> nice try, Sokka. <laughs> Good try, but now. <laughs> Damn, she is so precise. <laughs> Victory is boring. I, I I forgot about Appa. My bad. Let's go, Appa. Was it just me, or was that guy kind of? Ain't no way. <laughs> Here she comes, man. Here she comes. Ang's tired as hell, though. Now, who are you, and what do you want? You mean you haven't guessed? You don't see the family resemblance? Here's a hint. I must find the absolute. <laughs> it's okay. You can laugh. It's funny. He's too tired for this shit. So what now? Now? Now it's Dude, look at her over. nails. You're tired and you have no place to go. I'm not running. I'm here for this. Come on. Talk to me then. Oh, poor Toph, man. But she got Iro. Iro looks pretty cooked. Too young to be traveling alone. You seem a little too old. <laughs> Bro, this interaction is crazy. Who would have thought this was gonna happen? I look like I can't handle being by myself. 
I wasn't thinking that. You wouldn't even let me pour my own cup of tea. I poured your tea. He's being polite. I wanted to. Ah, uh, this is how she's gonna learn. People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me. But I can take care of myself. Oh, of course. I didn't even uh, take into account that, right? That That's all her parents were, right? They were overprotective, trying to do everything for her. And now she's finally got some independence, some freedom. And she's really, you know, trying to take advantage of that, obviously. She hasn't meant, like, any harm, obviously. Like, didn't mean to offend Katara or anything. But this is something that tough it needs to go through, right? To grow. She hasn't had any room to grow in her life outside of being the bland bandit, it seems. You sound like my nephew. Hey, true, true. Wow, what a connection. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Not that I love you. <laughs> I just met you. <laughs> Where is your nephew? He's around. I've been tracking him, actually. Oh. Ah, yes, sir. He's trying to figure out who he is. That's it. And he went away. I know he doesn't want me around right now. But if he needs me, I'll He's just the realest, man. And, and Toph's talking about Zuko here. She doesn't even know. Sharing tea with a fascinating stranger is one of life's... Kyra's the best. It helped me. I'm glad. Oh, and about your nephew? Maybe you should tell him that you need him, too. Bro, that interaction, so unexpected, but that was fantastic. Okay. I was wondering when you'd show up, Zuzu. Zuzu. Zuzu? Back off, Azula. He's mine. Is it no? Mm. I'm not going. Oh, anywhere. oh, mate, I'm getting treated today. Jesus. Oh my gosh. It does look like blue fire here. Okay, we're moving. Oh, I'm so here for this. Damn. <laughs> Zuko, no. Are Aang and Zuko gonna save each other somehow here? Katara. Let's go. My man. Get in there, soccer. Where's Toph? Toph's coming. Uncle. Get up. The reunion. Now who's in trouble, Azula? Yeah, let's go. Thanks. We're all gonna bond over fighting Azula. Oh, the the massive ganger. together i know when i'm beaten you got me a princess surrenders with honor uh... oh no i wrote damn azula it, dude that caught me so off guard azula is overpowered she really went for her uncle like that he, he's he's good but that that's a uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, there's a lot going on right now. Everyone relax. Oh, she can heal. She can heal. She can heal. Dude. Ah, I, I, mean, I get it, but I wish he let them help, man. That was that could have been a cool moment. Don't leave me here. Oh, bro, that whole last, like, 30 seconds just really just came out of nowhere. We're not getting cliffhanger in Avatar now. Have we been cliffhanger yet? Bro, that's a lot. Oh, th th there's there's a lot in this episode as well, man. So we didn't follow our usual theme of what I thought this type of episode was, you know, with the whole conflict going on with, with Toph and Katara. And we didn't wrap it up uh, verbally at the end of the episode, maybe with our actions, you know, all of us joining up uh, to fight Azula. And through Toph's conversation with Iroh, I, I guess that's all kind of, you know, 
of resolved itself. Maybe we'll get more on that next episode. But no, we've gone a completely different direction. And the way the episode finished is really unlike how most episodes of this series have finished. So I spent uh, quite a bit of time during the episode, you know, uh, commenting on Toph and Katara's situations here. So I won't go into that again here, but you can really see, you know, Toph struggling to, to fit in with a group and Katara trying to get Toph to fit in, you know, you know, just, just in her own way. But I imagine if they haven't already, they will work things out. And not a whole lot from Azula's uh, two friends. Uh, one of them was May. I, I can't remember the acrobatic woman's name. You'll have to forgive me. Ty Lee, maybe. I think that was it. The only thing we got from them really was that Ty Lee thought Sokka was cute. So for all the L's that Sokka is catching, and he did catch a few strays from Toph this episode, which I thought was probably going to happen. He does get some attention from the lady. So he's got that going for him. And Toph actually like acting like one of the boys, like at the start of the episode was a really nice touch. And it was cool to see Katara like be chill with that, like and laugh along with that as well. I enjoyed that. But I'm going straight to the Toph and Iroh interaction because that just came completely out of left field, but it was really good. And this was where, and I did talk about this, we got Toph's big thing, you know, everyone's trying to take care of her or that's how she feels because of her parents. And she's just out here trying to prove that she can take care of herself inadvertently, you know, to Katara as well. But Iroh has showed her, you know, through his way with words that sometimes people do things for each other just because they want to, because they care about him. You know, Iroh pours her tea because he wants to. So maybe even if Toph wants to be independent, she can help them, you know, unpack and set up camp because she wants to, because she's part of the group and she cares about them. And it's completely uncharted territory for Toph, right? She said she's never had a friend. So you can absolutely understand why, why Toph is like this. I did catch myself like during the episode, really thinking like eh, defensively for Toph. Like I really just wanted Toph to fit in, but I was never mad at Katara because I can see both sides. And I love that Iroh's been following Zuko this whole time. I, I was talking a lot last episode about, you know, after Iroh losing his first son, and he sees Zuko as a son now, you know, how much Zuko leaving Iroh probably, you know, affects Iroh as well. But Iroh is very understanding, saying that right now Zuko needs to be on his own and find out who he is. But Iroh is following him, saying whenever Zuko needs him, he's going to be there, which was this episode. And I believe it's going to be Zuko maybe taking care of Iroh now as well. So that's like kind of already come full circle in a way. And Toph has a big line here telling Iroh that maybe he should tell Zuko that Iroh needs him as well because I think there's a, a little bit more meaning to that you know because I think Toph kind of feels that you know Aang needs her to teach him earthbending but maybe it would be nice if Toph also says to them that she needs them as well but on the same note I'm sure Zuko knows this but I imagine it would be really big for him to know that Iroh needs him as well and Iroh has told him how much he cares about him and that he sees him as a son but especially since Zuko has been away from Iroh I think that would be a pretty significant conversation for them to have and the showdown between Azula, Zuko and Aang was a bit of a treat. It was a bit of a free-for-all, lots of bending stuff going around. Someone did mention uh, lightning bending, but someone also mentioned like blue fire bending. There has definitely, it's for sure been lightning. It was lightning at the start, but there have been like blue flames going around as well lately. So there's definitely, you know, something going on there. And I imagine it will be properly explained at some point, but I'm not going to lie. I did spend the entire fight hoping there was going to be some sort of Aang and Zuko, you know, interaction. Like maybe they'll save each other. Maybe they'll gang up on Azula. And I got a little bit more in, in some ways than what I asked for. When Katara and Sokka, Toph and Iroh show up and they all corner Azula, that's a top moment in the show everyone working together, especially since you know, like Toph and Iroh like just had their conversation as well. And Iroh, you know, was noticing Toph. And I'm wondering if when Iroh was looking over at Toph and the others, that, that was when Azula decided, you know, to strike Iroh when he wasn't looking. But she's ruthless, you know, without a second thought, she just strikes down her uncle like that. And you can see the look on Zuko's face. He was really upset. He's just been through a lot. He's been off on his own. He's just seen his uncle again. And now this has happened. And the homies were willing to help. Katara, you know, has healing properties, but Zuko was so mad. It clearly his head's not in the space of oh, Aang, see, I still need to try and capture him. But his only concern was Iroh, right? And he obviously doesn't know that Katara can heal, but he just said, everyone get away, right? I'm going to take care of Iroh. And that goes a little bit back to what Iroh said earlier in this episode about Zuko being similar to Toph, kind of thinking that he just needs to do everything by himself. So you can see there's still a lot of growth uh, to happen for, for some of these characters. And then we've been cliffhanger. The homies are finally getting some sleep on Arpa. And I imagine uh, Zuko is going to be with, with Iroh. I'm sure Iroh is going to be fine. 
fine. But I imagine this might uh, give Zuko and Iroh some time together so they can, you know, talk more about what's happened while they've been apart and maybe some of what Toph said to Iroh as well. And just a little detail here, as, as I'm flicking through the episode, I'm looking at Iroh's teapot and, and the cups that they're using. Are, are they made out of stone? Like, did Toph make those or does Iroh just have it on? And we know he loves his tea. If Toph did make it, that's a really awesome detail. But I think that's it. I think I've covered everything I want to cover from that. And I imagine next episode we'll get a, a little wrap up of, you know, Toph and Katara and everyone maybe getting on the same page and seeing what, what's happened to Zuko and Iroh after that. And by the way, Zula is crazy that she got out of that situation, right? There was like this big blue ball and then there was this explosion. Like she is really damn powerful. They were all attacking her after she hit Iroh. But that's definitely the last thing now. So I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Avatar.